Canadian Gypsy. Hey guys, Mr. Canadian Gypsy here, doing a review, a custom review on Jocasta. Uh, this custom was made for me by my friend Hunter Knight 4 so uh, big thanks to him. I'm going to put a link on the uh, bottom page there so you guys can go check out his work. So as we can see, uh, Jocasta, uh, the figure that was used to do this was the Wasp. So uh, it's a pretty simple figure. Here we have a side profile of her. And uh, I took one of the back where you can see also that he removed the wings and left the whole peg on the back of the back. So uh, it could enable her to put her in flying poses and stuff like that. Now before we go into the actual art articulation, I'm going to mention something about the articulation here. Is uh, the back of the neck, as you can see, he split the hair just uh, the way it appears in the comic books. Not only is it comic book accurate, but in that in that sense, it also enables a lot of uh, articulation from the neck, so she can look from side to side, up to down, and so on. Now, if we go and look at her face, you can see the beautiful detail there. He put the big red eyes that she has. She is a robot. Uh, for some of you who don't know who Jocasta is, uh, Jocasta was basically a centazoid, a robot actually, created by Ultron. Uh, his big plans for her was basically to make her, uh, you know, a sidekick, an evil robot, a companion, a mate, or whatever. And just like the Vision, uh, when he made the Vision, he used the brain powders of Wonder Man. Uh, he used the Wasp's uh, brain patterns to uh, create Jocasta. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it's ironic that he used the Wasp figure to do this. So anyway, so as you can see, the metallic look on the face looks pretty cool. Uh, there doesn't need any details because, you know, it's basically metallic looking. Some more details were added here on the arms. They have these bolts, you know, right above her elbow. Uh, that looks pretty cool. Also on her leg, there's some kind of like... Uh, I don't know what you call it, corsage, not corsage, but the garter belt type thing. Uh, I don't know what that came from, but that's one of her looks. And uh, on her belly, there's like a diamond shape there, which she got pretty cool. Uh, for the feet, uh, instead of using the wasp's feet, uh, he used uh, some other figure's foot because like the wasp, were, you know, the figure came in high heels and Jocasta is more of a, ro a robot, so it would be pretty silly for her to have hot heels. Okay, well, as for the articulation, she has the shoulder uh, articulation, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, next, we have elbow and wrist articulation. Uh, her hands, uh, the actual fingers do not articulate, so she has that look where she's like shooting an energy beam, which uh, is pretty good for her. Uh, the next picture I took is just to show, remember that diamond on her belly button? Well, she has torso articulation, upper and lower torso. So uh, you can twist that. I'm not really a fan of having the two types of articulation up on the torso itself, uh, but that's what she has. And then you have your basic uh, hip articulation. And of course we have the articulations on the knees, so she can bend her knees, that's pretty cool. And uh, of course uh, ankle articulation, there's no pivot to it, it's just like the wasp. Uh, so that's about it. Uh, I didn't take any pictures of that, but she basically has uh, whole pegs under her feet. So any stand like uh, I've been posing her, you can put that on it. Uh, you can put her in different cool looks. Uh, like here in this picture, I took her like with her hands behind her back. That's her, her like, I got the idea because in the comics uh, back then, uh, she had like a crush on the vision. So she would always be like shy and timid and all that stuff. Uh, but don't forget, she is an Avenger. And uh, she is ready for action, so she can also get into cool action poses. Uh, you know, you can bend her knee and le lift, uh, put her, raise her arms up like she's shooting energy blasts. Uh, and it, it looks pretty cool in displays, so I'll be using her in my uh, future displays, that's for sure. So there you go, this is uh, my uh, review on uh, my custom figure, Jocasta. Again, uh, base was made from the Wasp, the creator of this figure was uh, Hunter Knight 4. Check out his website. Uh, this is basically my first uh, uh, custom for 2011. Many more to come. 
Uh, I'll be doing a review at least twice a week. I'm going to try on because my camera really sucks. So I thought this would be a little bit better. You can see the details. Uh, so basically, I really hope you guys enjoyed this review. And I'll see you guys later. Ciao.